So first, when we're opening the trailer, we have to take these, unlatch all of them. So there's four of them. So that's one. There's two. And here's the third. You just stick this back in here if you want. Or you could just set it on the side, just don't lose it. And then we're gonna unlatch the fourth and final one right there. And then now it's time to bring it up. So we're gonna put the stick end in here. And you have a little metal cable that runs through the front of it right here that tightens it to pull it up and down. You're gonna, it's a little tougher. You're gonna go towards your body. Once you crank this all the way to the right, you'll know it's done when these red cables have tightened on the outside. And this is what it'll look like when it's up. So now we're coming to our third part, which is once it up, it's up we're gonna bring all the beds out. So you have a latch right here that you're simply just gonna pull straight out until you hear, it might look like it's out all the way, but it's not. You wanna hear a certain, like a clicking noise to know that it's out. So. What I'm doing is just pulling the material up so it doesn't get caught. So you guys hear that click right there? Right. You basically, it's basically hard to push it in. You just pull out, make sure your right and left are both out, and you're just gonna pull. See, these all need to be Velcroed to the bottom. And I'll do that because they're supposed to already be velcro but you're just gonna pull these covers straight over the bed frame like that because we're gonna have a pull that comes inside here after you pulled the front side out and the material is all pulled over you're gonna go ahead and go to the other side and pull out this one the same exact way so now we're gonna pull the bed just exactly the same straight out make sure all the materials aren't gonna get caught and just keep pulling until you hear see that you hear that click right there and you could you could even push back and it's not gonna feel like it it's gonna feel like it's stuck so once again these will come up when we have the poles inside of it after you have both beds out from the exterior make sure you have unlatched both of these right here from this last slide out. They'll just come across and you'll lay them down. And Grant will show you guys how to open it. Same thing. You pull all the way back till you can't, you can't anymore. And it's the same exact deal. It's, you're gonna have a bar that comes through and it's just gonna holster up all this. So with these beds, you're gonna get the poles and place them in whatever one fits best, depending on how leveled you are. And they're going to line up on top of the bed to keep them stabilized when you sleep on them. Same with the other side. You put them in whatever one fits best to have this pole on top fit it best so they stay stabilized and all of these poles for the back bed and the front bed will be found in this compartment so make sure you take them out before you open anything up so this is one of the important parts for the battery to be connected because it's unplugged as of like 10 minutes ago but we plugged it back in this there's a stopper behind i'll take it up real quick but the light will go off i have a wood piece there and it needs to go push down 
on that button. After that, you basically have all your exterior things out and your lights and your power should be running based off the AC is not plugged in right now, but the, all the power is plugged in as of now when the battery is on. And this light is, a, is an indicator that stuff is working. And then from this point on, it's basically you're putting stuff away. You wanna you wanna unpack and get your beds ready. And under here, you have this is gonna be your slide out for the kitchen. So you're just gonna easily put this pull in the middle of here and push out. It's as easy as that. And you just push it in this one. So, so with these poles on the ground, you just push them back into the beds and you want it to be there's like a little joint right here that will accept the pull and it's just because we're on a downhill but and just like that and same thing on the other side all the way around this this is your dining room table is under here just open it up put yeah. the poles up pretty self-explanatory and that's pretty much it so when you go to close it you put these poles down set these poles on the ground same with this just pop it out let that sit down so your final steps for taking it down first you're going to take this up which is going to turn off all the power and you're just going to let it Slide. Gently, because all the cables underneath are connected. Yeah. If possible, you could just kind of let it rest on a couple of these. So that's down for the most part. Where these are down make sure all the poles from the beds are down and the next step is to push in the beds and this slider once you're on the outside you unhook those two poles that you placed under here in the beginning you push this slide out in first and then you push the two beds in after you have removed those poles underneath and when you push this in you make the latches Them. You're gonna want to pull these this material out so the beds could slide straight in because there's so much when it's affordable you have materials that come in and they get caught so easily because everything has to be zipped together as you can see. So I'm gonna push in this bed. You just lift up. And you know it's all the way in. And once again, make sure your materials are pulled out so nothing's getting stuck. You see the bed is all the way in once it hits this. And lastly, return all poles that hold up the trailer in here. And make sure all the pins, all the pins are in here. This is very important to make sure that these pins are still in here. Same thing with the other side, push all the material in and the bed will be all the way in like so. So as you can see, Everything's tucked in as it should be. And last thing is to just make sure the door is locked. You can lock it from the outside handle. And when it's up, there will be a part that goes here and you're gonna take it off for it to be closed correctly. And you just start cranking it down. And as you crank it, you wanna make sure none of the material's out. Crank it towards the trailer and these will start to close. 
as someone cranks it, the other person can close these in. Okay, stop. When he gets to about this point, you're gonna make sure all the material is tucked in. Lastly, you crank it all the way down. And once again, latch the four latches that are around the trailer. And just double check that like no materials outside like this so, so you just tuck it in. And if it if it's not going all the way down, just put some weight on it. Put some weight and do the latches. And, and you should be good to go. How it's, yeah, you just put the Push down on it, latch it up, and it's good to go.